you think? Good. All right, it's Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. And Grant and I are gonna head out and try something new for a, for the day. <clears throat> it's supposed to be the warmest day today of the week, and yeah, and I'm like, you might hear some weird noises. That's my flashers because it's completely fogged out. There's only maybe about 100 feet visibility. We're driving through the country, so I make sure the headlights are on. Um, usually they're on the auto mode, but with it being so bright out the auto mode might not actually turn them on <clears throat> and I got my hazards on because it's this is the worst fog I've seen in a long time um, so we are going over to my buddy Luke's house and we're gonna go pick up he has a couple 22s and we're gonna um, go over to the range yeah guns yeah I'm gonna teach grants uh, about firearm safety which just reminded me I printed out the rules and left them on the printer at home. So we're gonna have to go over that um, when we get there, I suppose. That stinks. Just remember that. So um, it's supposed to be a good day. I think it's supposed to be high in the like 50s or upper 50s or something like that. I mean, that's the visibility. You can't see much of anything. <clears throat> Yesterday we had a great day. We played outside quite a bit. We played some basketball, we played some football. The snow is completely gone, like completely gone. Um, we played some battle bots, we played some robot soccer, and we played some Switch, uh, Nintendo Switch. And Grant found a really cool uh, mode, uh, gameplay type on Mario Kart 8 that I didn't know existed. So it's, it's called battle mode, but battle mode has like five or maybe six different um, ways that you can play battle mode. So we um, previously, yeah, Grant's been practicing them now, but Dad, yeah. Did you know you can actually? The last one makes you do all of them. It gives you a timer and it makes you do all of them. Oh, that's cool. No. So there's like battle mode. Back in the day, it used to be like every driver had like three balloons. Like now, I think this one has like five balloons. But everyone would just have like a couple balloons or something, and you would drive around and try to pop the other guy's balloons by throwing shells at them or running into them or whatever. Um, and that was battle mode for Mario Kart. Well, this uh, Mario Kart 8 has like five different modes. There's there's the balloon fight or whatever. There's, um, there's one where you chase this golden star and try to capture it. It's like capture the flag. And then there's a mode um, where you go around and do something with coins. I think you either try to collect an amount of coins or something. I don't think we did that one last night. And then there's, um, you can also do teams. There's a bomb version where you run around and the only like weapons that you like can pick up with the boxes are the bombs. Yeah, fun. Boom, boom, blast. Nice. Yeah, boom, 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 here, blast. Okay. Oh, we did? Okay, I don't even remember that one. Then. So um, with the bomb one, then you just throw bombs forward or backwards and try to, uh, you know, get the people. But there's like, a, there's team-based games, and then there's also um, almost like a cops and robbers version where yeah, you got to like, big, like plant. Big, uh, big plant guy. Yeah, so you like try to capture people, and then they go into like a, um, they, get into, they go into a cage or like a jail. Oh, we actually need to turn here. Hang on. And... Uh, <clears throat> so when they go into jail then like you can save them or, or break them out of the jail but if you don't um, if, if everyone gets captured before that happens the then cops. then the cops win yeah so it's I really like that version of the game it's kind of cool so yeah, like if I get right now. if I get caught then Grant can free me or, or release me and if um, he gets caught vice versa so it's it's really nice but um so we, uh, we're, we're excited about that. So we played that last night for almost an hour before bedtime, and it was a little stressful, especially, you know, trying to learn the new games. We've never played these before. So uh, I was just kind of excited about that. So um, it <clears throat> seems like Grant really likes it, too. He's been getting some extra practice in. <clears throat> so 
Um, we're headed to Luke's house now. We should be there in about 20 minutes or so. And then uh, we're gonna head over to the range. All right, we made it to the range. Grant already saw a couple other people shooting, so I saw him get a little excited. And I got all kinds of targets here. Here's bullets. And just keep your hand on that so it doesn't blow away. All right. We're gonna pick out the biggest targets first until you learn how to do it. All right. So does it fall? Let me see here. Let me see if we have any big um, circles or anything like that. There you go. Gotta sit that right, right there. All right, here, hold this. Hold these two. Oh, there they are. All right, hold that. All right, we'll put those ones on top. Those are smaller, but okay. And we'll, well that'll, that'll be it for what we're gonna start with. Okay, I'll set these on top so they don't blow away. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, here's what we got to do. We got to close the range. All right, so Grant's just getting ready. Go ahead and get in your position. Try it out. Okay. Looking pretty good here. And all right, he's ready. Okay, we got somebody. Uh, okay, here you go. All right, so you just push it down a little bit, load it, and you push it all the way back. Let me try. All right. So put it in your left hand. Hold on. Nope. Nope. Turn it like this. There you go. Now, hold on, hold on. Push with your thumb, this thumb. Push down just a little bit and hold it down. Yeah, I'll show you. You can't push it on the metal part, so you, you're, I'm just holding it down in the back and I'm pushing it down like, like up here. It's not easy to do when there's more of them in there though. Okay. There you go. All right, so now you have five. Okay. Okay. Nope. Hold on. Hold on. Put your safety back on. All right. Now close the bolt. So when you close the bolt, it rams a bullet into the chamber. Okay. Finger off the trigger. There you go. Put it on your bag. Put the barrel on your bag a little bit. There you go. Okay. Line it up. Line up the shop before you put your finger on the trigger and get everything ready. There you go. There you go. All right, up, there you go. That's the bad bullet, the old bullet. Yep, finger off the trigger, off the trigger. There you go. Line everything up before you fire. There you go. Go, like put your hand under it, like boom. Instead of like this, put your hand under it and lift it up. All right, finger off the trigger, off until you're lined up. Okay. One more, one more left. Okay. Finger off the trigger until you're lined up. There you go, take your time. There you go. All right, open your bolt, or put your safety on first. Open your bolt. Actually, open your bolt first. It might not let you with it. Hold on. Yeah, open your bolt. Wait, open your bolt. All right, now put your safety on. All right, now hit the release button. <coughs> there you go. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the target and see if, if you got any hit. Oh, wait, this one doesn't do that. Hold on. Does this one zoom? This one might zoom. You always want to walk behind people, bud. You don't want to like go on that side of the table 
and walk in walk in front of me or anything like that. I hit one. I'm trying to look. I think you did. Yeah, I think so. Look through the scope at your target, and you can see where you hit. See where you hit? See it? Or no? No, it's like way too zoomed in. They're what? Way too zoomed in. I can't even see it. All right, try now. Try looking now. I think your eye is too close to the scope. Move your head back. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Here, let me see if I can take a picture of it through the scope somehow. Alright, that's not going to work. Dad, what way? This way? Yeah, but you gotta start it up here and then push it back. Yeah, like that. Push it down and then back. You wanna get it underneath those lips. Just like that, yeah. Five? Yep. Let me see if we can close it for a second. Do you mind if we close the range just for a couple minutes? Yeah, just load it up. Why don't you just look through the scope here? Uh, I wanted to take a picture of this one. Go, go ahead. Do your thing. Let me get these out of here. We'll wait for you. Go on. It's too difficult to unload. I understand. I understand. No worries. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, bud. We're gonna go take a we're gonna go take a look at your target real quick. Grab one of those cones and bring it up, okay? Thank you. Okay. 
All right, good job. Do you want me to work on sighting in the uh, the scope or the red dot, or do you think it's good? Um, it looks I like wanna, you're hitting the target really well. I want to do this one. Okay, you're doing a good job with it. Okay. Awesome. All right, come around here. I want you to stand Dad, in front of the barrel. Instead of a coin collection, why not a bullet coin collection? Oh, man, it'd be heavy. They're so heavy. I'm going to put um, a few more in there for you, okay? How many can I hold? Like six? Um, I don't know. Maybe ten or more. At least a half mile. Why aren't we putting that many in? Um, because we're just practicing. We're going to practice everything. Reloading and all that sort of stuff. I know. All right. We are at the range. Checking my targets. We're checking Grant's targets here. I'm trying to work, slowly work on zeroing the, uh, the scopes and all that sort of stuff. So, um, okay. So here are the targets. And I first tried the 1022 scoped here. And it was shooting over this way. I made some adjustments. And I actually went the wrong way. You can see, you can see it's it's almost the same or double the distance away. So then I, I dialed it backwards and did this one here. Uh, which one? This one. And then I I uh, have the elevation right, so it's not above like those were. It's not above. It's in line, just to the right. And then I dialed it over and I started getting closer. So I left it at that. Um, that's five rounds, five rounds, and Grant, which targets were you shooting at? That Just one there? this one, not anyone else. Okay, that's awesome. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I use the same one that Grant's been using, and this is my target that I use. So it's pretty close. I'm not going to even adjust it, I don't that, think. I'm gonna, I tried shooting at this one once, yeah. but I haven't hit it. Okay. We're gonna. I'll leave that one for you to shoot. We'll we'll go back and you can start shooting at that more. So I think that one's dialed in, bud. Pretty much. It Which might one? be shooting like you said, a little bit high. The the red the red dot, the rifle that you like, the bolt action. I think it's pretty much dialed in. You might just have to aim just a little bit lower. But not too bad. All right, let's come out of the mud. So, sun's coming out. All right, so that's about it for the day. Grant ran back to the car. He is freezing. The wind is relentless today, and the sun never quite came out like it was supposed to. So I don't even know what time it is. It looks like it's about noon, and it's just not getting any warmer. It's actually the sun's coming out, and it's getting colder for some reason. I don't understand it. So today was supposed to be the warmest, best day. The next two days it's going to be raining. And uh, I'm just finishing up using a little bit more ammo um, before we head back. So Grant is in the car trying to warm up. And I am just finishing out a couple things. So check this out. All right, let's go take a quick look, and that's gonna be it. I can see how dirty the lens cap is on this camera, so that's not going to help anything. But here is the 1022 that I just shot. 
One of those was Grant's, and then this was the second round that you guys just saw me shoot. So, um, yeah, working well. That's it. And, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm proud of Grant. He did a good job today. I don't know if it's dry, but I'm going to try to save this one. I think it's wet. All right. That'll be Grant's first target. And, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, we are headed home after a long day. We just went and picked up some Wendy's because we're starving and I don't want to cook again. We uh, ate a little bit before we headed over by Nikki, but um, it was a bust. So we brought the bikes, got everything all set up, got them loaded onto the back of the car, all of that work. And my handlebars are broke or something on my bike. I don't know what's going on. They, there's one bolt that holds the whole handlebars on and it's not like threading in, it's not working. So I'm frustrated. So we ended up walking around at least, but I don't know, I like biking more than walking, but I don't know. So we are going, um, we are going home and I gotta unload everything, but we gotta eat this food too. So we're all getting hungry. wasn't a good rock. Grant, pick her out a good rock. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the flick right. Yeah, I know. I don't like the flick. She got it. I saw it. I saw it. Leave it in there. Yeah. Gross. Like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta sidearm it. I'm not good at, I've never.